All right. Uh, so they actually, yeah, I guess they want it to be called the Fur Trader. Not furs. You were the leader of a French fur trading expedition in 1776, leaving the Lake Ontario area to sell furs and get supplies for the next year. You have a choice of three forts at which you may trade. The cost of supplies and the amount you receive for your furs will depend on the fort that you choose. Do you wish to trade furs? <laughs> what if we say no? Does the game end? Let's see. We... No. Break in 21, yeah, so you break the game if you say no. Why are they even asking us? You know this one, Discovery? Wow. Retro Game Quest, thank you for the host. Alright, we have $600 savings and 190 furs to begin the expedition. Your 190 furs are distributed among the following kinds of pelts. Mink, beaver, ermine, and fox. Ermine? I've never even heard of that animal. What's an ermine? It's another name for a stoat. Which is a short-tailed weasel. Interesting. Never heard of that before. Alright, how many mink pelts do we have? I see, so we have to allocate 190 furs along the four. I mean, I guess, wouldn't minks be the most expensive? I don't know. Let's just do even distribution, so it's like... Uh, what? Uh, roughly 57 furs each? Something like that? And then two of them have five? Yeah. So we'll say... Or I'm sorry, 48. We'll say 48 mink furs, 48 beaver... Or pelts. And then we'll do... Um, 47 airmine pelts and 47 fox pelts. Alright, it's so only Deadpool. Alright, you may trade your furs at Fort 1, Fort 2, or Fort 3. Fort 1 is Fort Hochelaga in Montreal, and is under the protection of the French Army. Fort 2 is Fort Stadacona in Quebec, and is under the protection of the French Army. However, you must make a portage and cross the Lachine, Lachine Rapids. Lachine, maybe. Fort 3 is Fort New York, and is under Dutch control. You must cross through Iroquois land. Answer 1, 2, or 3. All right, I guess let's let's start in Montreal at Fort Hochelaga. One. You have chosen the easiest route. However, the fort is far away from any seaport. The value you receive for your furs will be low, and the cost of supplies higher than at Forts Stadacona or New York. Do you want to trade in another fort? I don't think so. I mean, let's just try if we just trade at all three forts, just so we can see what the game has to offer. So yeah, let's continue to Fort uh, Hochelaga. Alright, supplies at Fort Hochelaga cost $150. Your travel expenses to Hochelaga were $10. Your beaver sold for $43.68. Your fox sold for $38.07. Your airmine sold for $37.60. And your mink sold for $41.76. Alright, so we now have $601.11. And and some fraction, <laughs> one one hundredth of a cent, including your previous savings. What do we start off with? Five hundred. Do you want to trade furs next year? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do the same distribution, I guess. Uh, definitely looks like. Uh, let's see. Actually, beaver was the most was worth the most, followed by mink. All right, this time let's trade at uh, Fort Stadacona in Quebec. That's protected by the French army, but we have to make portage and cross the Lachine Rapids. Maybe there's a chance our boat would sink or something, kind of like the Oregon Trail or what have you. You've chosen a hard route. It is, in comparison, harder than the route to Hochelaga, but easier than the route to New York. You will receive an average value for your furs, and the cost of your supplies will be average. Do you want to trade another fort? No. Okay, you arrive safely at Fort Stadacona. Supplies cost 125, our expenses were 15, and we made some money. So we only made $34 on the trip. That didn't hardly seems worth it, but okay. Yep, let's trade again. Let's 
go this time down to Fort New York. Your boat sinks, you die, game over. Is this the same as the 78 version? I guess not. Oh, that's a good point. Let me make sure... Are the versions the same or not? Okay, yeah, no, this is a good version. This is the good 73 version. Good. Uh, did I write this myself? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, this may have been the one... I'm, remem I'm forgetting now. Someone may have either given this to us or they found it in an archive online. Forgotten. Forgotten which. Alright, we're going to Fort New York. Which is under Dutch control and we have to cross through Iroquois land. You have chosen the most difficult route. At Fort New York, you will receive the highest value for your furs. The cost of your supplies will be lower than at all of the other forts. Do you want to trade at another fort? No. You were lucky you arrived safely at Fort New York. The supplies cost $80. Your travel expenses were $25. Yeah, but we did get higher prices for our pelts. So we got up to $753. I guess, should we go for $1,000? I don't know. Oh, 78 has random events. Maybe there will be random events here, actually. I'm looking in the um, in the uh, source code here, which you or not, um, and you can see that, or maybe you can't. So you can get some messages like your beaver were too heavy to carry across the portage. I say that weighs more. Or you were attacked by a party of Iroquois. All people in your trading group were killed. This ends the game. Um. You narrowly escaped an Iroquois raiding party, however you had to leave all your furs behind. Your mink and beaver were damaged on the trip. You receive only half the current price for these furs. So that seems like the uh, potential problems you might run into. But, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's going to be it. We um, we successfully got to all three forts and sold our furs. Hochelaga. Whatever the second one was. Hunagana <laughs> and New York. And had a successful fur trading expedition. That was forts.